Irene Murphy got word her rent was going up in December by nearly $400. The biggest percentage of the tenants there are uh, seniors. So a lot of us are on fixed incomes and uh, there's just no way that you can afford that kind of rent. Murphy and her neighbours are not alone. Statistics Canada reports rents in all four Atlantic provinces have been increasing during the pandemic as Canadians flock east, but nowhere faster than in New Brunswick. Tenants in New Brunswick have far fewer rights and protections than tenants almost anywhere else in the country. This lawyer helped form the New Brunswick Coalition for Tenants' Rights two years ago after struggling to find housing himself. He says the crunch is partially due to a squeezed housing market and partially because of corporate landlords with no interest in affordable housing. We're living in a, in, in a Wild West situation um, where the government is, is unwilling or unable to recognize that there's a power imbalance between landlords and tenants. Unlike in some other provinces, there are no rent caps in New Brunswick. The data does show that provinces with rent control do not have a more favorable housing market in terms of affordability. The minister responsible did not make herself available for an interview. In a statement, she notes in December the provincial government brought in measures to limit rent increases to once a year and require six months' notice. There's still no limit on the amount you can increase rent by. You're still going to lose your home at the end of it. For Murphy, paying the increase would mean giving up her vehicle, a loss of independence. All they're looking at doing is padding their own bank accounts, and it doesn't really matter whether it's seniors or who it is that they're gouging. She's already decided to move, but still wants the government to cap rent hikes so her new landlord can't also force her out of her home. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.